Oh, oh, there you are. Got it, Kay. All right. What, what do we? We have the whole band. What do we? What am I working with uh, here? You've got you've got a super majority. You got yeah. four out of five. Four fifths. <laughs> oh, Pretty that's good. that's impressive. I like that. Yeah. Um, uh, well, I'm glad. This is my favorite time to talk to people right off CMA Fest, where there's a mixture of adrenaline and uh, exhaustion to even you out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you kind of got both of those. Here. Yeah, we got you. We're a little giddy at the moment. CMA Fest is one of my favorites to watch. One of my favorite things from CMA Fest is watching artists be fans of other artists. It's so pure. It shows it's like encouragement inside the community of the country world. Uh, who is that for you guys to see live? I got to go see this person live. I may like their music, but these are the people I have to go see do their thing on stage. Uh, uh, in general, or at CMA Fest? Uh, in general, in, in general, general is fine. I mean, I always am uh, looking for a Springsteen show to go to. Mm-hmm. Um, we I recently re- saw Willie Nelson, and it was uh, it was absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Anybody newer that you maybe surprised you? You know who I want to see is Megan Maroney. I haven't seen her yet. Yeah, I've never seen her perform live. That would be cool. Yeah, have you have you guys worked with her at all? Uh, not yet, no. All right. We should, though. Yeah, you know what? Since you said that, we're going to try to make that happen. <laughs> Great. I love when I get to take credit. <laughs> Take credit for things. When you guys go, when you guys head on these tours, your your band does there is there anybody that tours more than you guys? Is there anything <laughs> that you talk about to keep it fresh every time? Like you, hey, maybe you build upon every time you go out. You say, hey, let's add this to the door to the tour, or I really want to try something like this on the tour. Yeah. How do you keep that stuff fresh? But musically, you know, we don't talk too much about it. We we figure it out in rehearsals what our set list is going to be like. Uh, but this year, it's sort of grown and evolved quite a bit and is showing us you know that we have this freedom now to to kind of play whatever we want can you speak on that freedom a little bit like what is it what is what is the catalyst of of that going okay we can step out now i think we've just arrived at this point in our career where we have a lot of music that's out there and we have you know we're playing we're headlining arenas now so there's these giant buildings filled with fans and they all you know we're lucky enough to be a band that you know, our fans dig into everything we've done, even outside of our radio singles. So you can hear them all singing along to all these deep cuts. And, you know, so it's kind of dictated that. by the fans, right? Like you're, yeah, you're... There's a, there are big portions of the show that are definitely dictated by the fans. On the road with a no bad vibes idea. You know, you keep seeing these videos. There's one, I think, just of Chris Stapleton, too. How do you handle somebody that it might be in the crowd that bring some bad vibes. You're like, that's not this tour, you know, if they're acting out or do, or they're, you know, being, um, you know, obscene in it or inappropriate anyway. I know Chris Stapleton just kicks somebody out. Do you guys talk about how you want to handle that? And have you had to handle that? Yeah, there's been times where we've stopped the show. Yeah, we've, we've definitely had to stop, you know, and just, it's important to us, you know, because when something like that happens, it, it affects a lot of people it around just sucks, them. right? Yeah, everyone's paid money to see the show, so we definitely don't want, you know, the hundred people around the problem to miss a couple of songs or whatever because yeah. one of one, you know, jerk. So, yeah, we've, we've stopped a few times and said, hey, you know, hey, if you can't get it together, you got to leave. Right. And we've, we've removed some people before. Yeah, you, and you guys are all okay with that. What uh, You guys are so talented, I think, as individuals. When you guys are writing songs, whether it's like two or three of you or two of you and outside people or one of you and outside people, how do you decide if it's an Old Dominion song or it's something you're going to shop around? What is it about us, you know, the song that goes, uh, this we got to keep this one for ourselves? And has there been a song that you guys may have disagreed on? It's a, it's a process that involves all of us, the five of us ultimately decide what an Old Dominion song is. And sometimes, yes, we definitely disagree. There's no way that we could all five agree all the time on what song is the right song. Uh, but, but you know, we respect each other's opinions, and, you know, we, we know that all of us are equally talented and have a, a unique perspective on what we think a great song is. And, and so, you know, sometimes it's, it comes down to a vote. Sometimes it comes down to one person saying, you know, I really, really, really care about this song. I want to do it. And, oh, interesting. you know, the rest of us will go, okay, if you want to try it, let's try it. You know? Yeah, that, comes, that sounds like it's just the, the basis of respecting each other, right, if somebody's really yeah. passionate about it. When, and when you, so you guys have a vote. Like, is it a raise your hand situation? You're like, hey, are we keeping the song in majority rules? It's, it just rolls that way? Sometimes, yeah. yeah. Sometimes it comes down to an actual vote. Yeah. Is there any, are there any songs specifically you remember that you guys were on the fence about keeping or letting go? Yeah, I think, uh, well, as far as like keeping and letting go, I mean, some people do was one that we almost didn't record. Um, uh-huh. um, I, and as far as like single choices go too, those are always a spirited conversation. Oh, you interesting. Know? Yeah. Yeah. You know, because it's, everyone's got their favorite song or their song that they think is going to resonate the most. You know, no, someone that's never heard old Dominion songs before, which probably 
slim to none. But you had to give them three songs to listen to and be like, "Hey, this is this is who we are." What what three songs do you think you'd pick? Ooh, mm. I'm gonna put an early vote in for Broken Heart. I was gonna say that too. Nice. Broken Heart. Uh, I, I think One Man Band would be in there. Yeah, yeah, good choice. Yeah, it's like we have these different sides to us, right? So you want the, uh, like, Memory Lane, I think, is a cool spot for us. I think, like, I mean, I but I even look at some of the fun ones, too, like, a, you know, like Break Up, a Break Up with Them, or, you know, the, the lighter side. Yeah, yeah, you're asking us to pick. Your babies, favorite, I know. My favorite kid. <laughs> yeah. You have so many children. I know. Well, you always got to have three favorite there. Like, it's called Wrong Lyrics Only. So it's very simple. All you have to do, I'm going to give you lyrics to your own songs. And when I stop, then you say the first thing that comes to mind. However, it can, the only rule is it cannot be the actual <laughs> lyrics of the song. Okay. Okay. Wrong lyrics only. So we'll start with uh, we'll start with on a boat that day. Here we go. You can't say, but I was. Where were you that day? In jail. <laughs> 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 All right, second one. Don't waste another mile or a minute not kissing me. Life is short, make it. This song is called Make It Sweet, but life is short. You're going to make it what? Shorter. <laughs> oh That's dark. Dark. Wow. Somebody needs a nap. Yeah. Uh, a little hungover. That's <laughs> kill me now. Funny. All right, and last one. We'll go with one man band, but the special version. <laughs> All right, meow 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 meow. Rock. <laughs> <laughs> I think I heard a owl in there. I'm not really yeah. sure. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, the No Bad Vibes Tour. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys uh, coming to Chicago in November. You're always a good time. I appreciate you just taking the time and uh, get some rest and try not to make life shorter, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> appreciate it. This is a family show, guys. Way to be lighthearted. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thank you guys so much, and uh, congratulations.